I remember Kai was doing, um, he was doing chess. He was doing like some uh, cable crossovers and I just went over to him and started working in with him. Yeah. And I remember, and I have to ask you, but I just remember when I did that, everybody was like. Yeah, because we thought you guys really did not like each other, like genuinely didn't like each other. Yeah. Was that like, was that real beef? I can feel like at some point it got real. It was real, I think, most, mostly because of our fans making it more real. Yeah. You know, like being in high school, you know, yes. someone talks shit about you, talks yeah. shit about me. Now at, we're at lunchtime looking at each other. Up, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. By by three fifteen, start. You know, at, at school we're in the parking lot getting ready to fight, and we don't even, we don't know why. <laughs> Egged <laughs> on by everyone. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I felt like that with Kai, um, but I also knew that I was standing in his way. Yeah. And I have to acknowledge someone's angst, someone's you know anger toward someone who they're saying this is the only mother that I have to beat to be the best, the best in the world at something. Do you think he should have won an Olympia? He could have beat me in 2014 if he didn't start that fight. I think he would have gotten some points on Friday where it would have been even going into Saturday Yeah, um, because I wasn't on on, um, but neither was he. And I think that's where, you know, I, I think fans – always look at like because it's a two-day show so you have friday and you have saturday i always look better on saturday but that friday i just had a feeling that kai was going to show up and do something silly because we had a con that press conference yeah. where i gave him the three facts and all that yeah. <laughs> and i knew right away that he and i were probably going to get into it and um and we did and that made our bodies just completely washed you know just yeah, that cortisol shit bro it was so bad yeah i remember looking at him and i'm i'm like I know he's looking, damn, he looks like shit. Well, if he's looking that bad, I, I know I'm looking bad too. So yeah. we didn't have another comparison in that Friday. So I'd say the only chance he had was that year. Yeah. Uh, but look, I mean, he beat me at the Arnold Classic in 2010. Um, I was up by three after prejudging. I lost by seven, which is a 10-point swing. I don't know how the, f the judges got that one wrong. That makes no sense, by the way. Yeah. It's the largest point swing in bodybuilding history, just for context, in a one-day show, huh. six hours apart. So this, that's what I, this <laughs> is why I didn't go more into competing. I was like, there's, it's other going on. Like, I don't, because it's such a subjective that sport. Is, it became, well, it's subjective, but then it can be objective. You know, I think n it's tough, man. Like, would you say, would you say that, I mean, Clearly, you've won. It's not like I'm not taking away anything of, of your winnings and what you've done, but would you say that sometimes they favor more, people more than others? Because I felt like I could, that. I could say that they... Especially early back then. I could say they could because if you make it look easy for them to see something, right? Like, it, let me backtrack. All right, so on a two-day show or even a one-day show, if you come out there and prejudging, you could just knock them dead. Yeah. And you really nail it, you're pretty much in the driver's seat unless you up right or, yeah. let, or unless if your body can't hold it um which is rare i think but we i will say when you give the judges an opportunity to f with you because you didn't bring it in the first half of the show oh man all bets are off yeah i think all bets are off i think they get it right majority of the time i feel like now they have to get it right because i think they the have internet. to now i mean you know i would hate to be a judge right now because of social media i hate to, i mean they get hate mail they really do get hate mail i was just with some of them this past weekend and i don't envy them it's it's extremely it's actually sad man because a lot of these guys are like in their 60s and these judges aren't like driving Bentleys and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, yeah. they're just doing it for the love of it, right? Yeah. And yeah, they've made a business out of it by promoting shows, but to judge, to sit there and judge, they're not getting paid what people think, you know? Right, right. And to take that type of abuse, nor nor should they even if they're getting paid a million bucks, you know? I mean, they get called some really, because they've seen it. They're like, Phil, check this out. I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is yeah. so awful. And And you know what's crazy with this sport is that people can find you. Yeah, they can show up at the gym, especially with the f internet now. They can really, I mean, you you can't really find, you can't just go up to the Lakers facility and wait outside for you know, you just can't. Like they yeah. got security and stuff. Like you get your ass kicked, you know. But like out here, like no, they'll find you at your gym. 
your store, whatever. So, you know, the, but I will say the judges, I, I tell competitors this, I will never leave it close because if you think that they're going to, just because you won something before that they're going to give you grace for, please, they can't, they just can't. And I don't feel like I'm throwing anyone under the bus by saying this, but with social media, you know, I've talked to some judges and they say, well, we don't look at the internet. I'm like, how can you not? Yeah. I mean, it's just I mean, there. I would like, I remember doing the Olympia and as soon as I got off stage and this is like 2015, 2016, I'm in my hotel room looking at photos for like two hours. Yeah. <laughs> shaking my head that. saying, what the f like, cause you got like five different photographers. Yeah. Some use filters, some don't, some catch and They're only fragments of a moment right. in time. So one person has you not flexed, the other one does, yeah. and now they done posted it up, and now you got a zillion comments, and then you're hoping that a judge doesn't look at this because you're like, like the until the next show, the next day, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you they could say, well, I could see the I could see this fan's point. <laughs> yeah, I can see their point. Do you, do you think you think they would? I mean that sucks though because then like allow the not it's not necessarily tampering but it's like you're changing the sort of perspective. You could change the narrative on anyone if you give them an image like that. I, I I truly believe it. We're still humans, right? Yeah. You have to be one extremely disciplined person, which I do. Like I said, I believe the judges are very disciplined because yeah. you have to sit there. If I'm only on stage for like a few minutes, they're there for at least three hours staring at bodies. Yeah. You gotta have a trained eye to get it right 99.9 percent .9 of the time sitting there for three hours man like yeah referees don't get it right you know and they're in the game but um yeah I, I don't envy them i do think that for me i i feel like things got swayed a little bit because um and it and it, this happened to ronnie this happened to jay this happened to dorian they just didn't have it with social media yeah um dorian tore a bicep tricep you know consecutive years and the, people had to wait three months until to see the photos in the magazine to even bitch about it so different right yeah, so different ronnie coleman they would say okay you know he's a little bloated this year blah 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 but the results were already in you know jay cutler they would say okay his waist is blocky he's like a fridge but like that was those are things that people said online just because they didn't like him yeah and maybe there was some truth to it but that's them nitpicking out of these guys yeah. they're not talking about how jay color can't even walk through your fucking house you know because he's so damn wide yeah. you know what i'm saying they're not talking yeah. about the quads yeah. they're not talking about ronnie's back and his chest and his shoulders and his, it's all negative know, it's just the most negative thing and i think i was i was talking to somebody about this over the arnold classic weekend it's like bodybuilding is like seriously one of the most negative in sports of all time but we sign up for it I know. It's the only sport where you'll literally sign up to get on, you know, but it's the, you know, I, I have to ask myself, well, why'd you do it? It's because the fact that you can transform your physique into something special. Yeah. You know, and you can inspire a lot of people while doing that because they want to seek, seek that power from within as well. Yeah. Yeah.